Hallelujah. Verse 14. These all continue with one accord in prayer and in supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And so they were on one accord. Like the scriptures. The scriptures are on one accord. Old Testament and New Testament. All of these people are Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. All 12 tribes. Every last one of them. That's who these people are. The disciples. Mary, the mother of Jesus. She's a Hebrew Israelite. And all the Jesus brethren. <laughs> the Hebrew Israelites. Everybody in the scriptures that pertain to the gospel of the kingdom are Hebrew Israelites. Even when the scripture talks about the woman at Samaria, the woman at the well, who was a Samaritan, she was a Hebrew Israelite. When the scripture talks about Cornelius, the centurion, he is a Hebrew Israelite. I can hear all y'all religiosity folks now. I no, 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 no. He was not oh, fussing and cussing. <laughs> Cornelius is a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the northern kingdom. Like the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul is a Roman citizen, but he's a Hebrew Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. He was a Roman citizen, but he was still a Hebrew Israelite. So Cornelius is a Roman citizen, but he's a Hebrew Israelite. Like us. We're in this country called America, and they call us citizens or whatever, whatever they want to call us. <laughs> but we are Hebrew Israelites. They're not going to tell us that. So what am I saying? You got to reclaim your, your birthright. You got to reclaim your heritage because they're not going to just call you what you are. They're going to call you what they call you, what they call you, what they want to call you. We told y'all, y'all African Americans. And so that's what you go by. Well, the scripture says that we're Hebrew Israelites, so that's what I'm going by. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I get a witness?